welcome to the Teen Sharks Startup Channel. Thanks for watching. Today we'll talk about the very important concept of SWOT analysis and PESTO analysis. In today's short lesson, I'll define SWOT and PESTO analysis. I'll use examples of real-life cases to illustrate that SWOT analysis can produce amazingly good results, and if they're not done right or done diligently, can produce disasters. In the end, I want to convince you that a SWOT analysis is not an academic exercise, but something that people should do every single day. The SWOT analysis is a framework for understanding the comprehensive situation around an organization or around a person or a project. SWOT stands for Strengths, Weaknesses, Opportunities, and Threats. As a basic decision-making framework, it can be applied to organizations, to missions, to products, to projects, even to people. Successful people tend to manage their life like it's a business. The strengths and weaknesses are internal situations. Those are things that you can influence, change, improve, or impact. Whereas opportunities and threats are external. There are things that you cannot influence and impact, but you can be prepared for. In some cases, you can avoid them. In some, you can use them to launch innovation. There are many opportunities and threats, and they can be summarized as PESTEL, P-E-S-T-E-L, which stands for Political, Economic, Social, Technology, Environmental, and Legal Elements. Some people say that business is war. In the book Art of War by the Chinese scholar Sun Tzu, he said that if you know yourself and you know about your enemy, you have a 100% chance of winning any fight. And sometimes you have to know the enemy in yourself and you have to know the enemy outside. Business is a war. It is a war about providing value. You need to have full situational awareness all the time, much like a chess master. A chess master has chessboard awareness, the ability to see all pieces in your mind's eye. Perhaps you're not impressed by chess masters. Let's think about driving. When you're driving on the road, you look through the window for the road in front. You look at the gas panels, the speedometers to gauge the situation of the car, internal situation, and you look through the rear view mirrors, you look at the side view mirrors. Think about how many times you do the equivalent of SWOT analysis on an average trip. You know, modern cars have so many sensors to help detect threats, and uh, drivers today not only know the uh, local threats, they also know the global and national threats. If running a company were so easy, huh? The founder of Amazon, Jeff Bezos, is a good user of SWOT and PESTO analysis. Right after the internet age started, he has already started Amazon. And he was using the T in the PESTO analysis as a technological change that presented great opportunities. He was able to see it, and now he is the world's richest man. In business, if the company was sitting at the wheel, sleeping, not checking SWOT and PESTO analysis, the company would run to the side of the road. A friend of mine started a company, and uh, after he acquired two big customers, the copycats caught him. He wasn't aware. He wasn't doing daily SWOT analysis. A great phone company, Motorola, almost ran out of business after it failed to recognize the transition from analog phone to digital phone. So I hope you see that the SWOT analysis should not be done perfunctorily. It is something that should be done every day, and otherwise the car would be on the side of the road. Now it is important to do SWOT analysis because it is important to survive in business. The most important thing in business is to survive. Any motion in business, or even just to stay alive for an individual or for an organization or an endeavor, requires two things, decisions and actions. And to make the right decisions, you have to be fully aware of the comprehensive situation. Now, why is that so important for a business to grow? Isn't that okay just to stay the same size and make money? Well, actually, I used to not understand this. 
but a company must survive and grow. If it doesn't, it vanishes. People know that a shark has to swim around all the time, and a company has to grow all the time. When a company stops growing, it is like a treadmill stopping. Even though the company is still running, good people will start to get bored, and good managers will start to look for other opportunities. You're in trouble. So how do we keep a company going up? To grow, you need to know where you are exactly, and you need to know where you want to go exactly. You need to use SWOT analysis to make those two decisions, and then you need to use SWOT analysis on your way to drive from the starting point to the end point. In the analogy of the car journey, a journey has to have a purpose. For example, picking up milk, and a journey has to have a destination. In business terms, the Destination is a vision of the company, and the purpose is a mission of the company. You have to use SWOT analysis to make every decision and watch your road all the time. Otherwise, the car would be in the ditches. Thank you very much. See you in the next episode.